about the blood drive? Tamika and the office said they couldn't use like half the blood because they had AIDS in it. That's because all them high school girls you mess with them grown men. Y'all stupid. Don't you know that's just a rumor? Now come some ladies coming to our solid gym classes. Well, I ain't going to gym then because I'm not trying to hear nobody talk about his for an hour. You better be in class. Why's that? Because I always like to know where my girl is. And girl, you sprung. Please, he the one that's wide open. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what we on at the school? Well, I want to hit up the AAA, you know, and get some cute for tonight. What's for tonight? Oh, nothing. And just stopping by a little later. That's all. Mm -hmm. Kaya, what you think you finna get with four dollars that's finna impress that rich boy? <laughs> girl, you better quit playing with me. I'm not playing with you. Damn, you know you ain't well, got well, no sand on all right, class, settle down. Have a seat. Thanks for showing up on time, guys. All right, guys, listen up. OK, quiet down. Uh, we have a guest speaker here today. She's going to talk to you guys about HIV and AIDS, all right? So I want you to pay attention and listen up. If you guys don't think you're mature enough to handle this conversation, please save us a time, stand up, and leave right now, OK? All right, they're all yours. Hey, guys, what's up? How you doing? I'm Miss Brown, and I'm about to get real personal with you. Who here has ever been sexually active? Okay. I ain't had sex yet, but I'll let you be my first. <laughs> <laughs> and out of all of you, how many of you have had unprotected sex? Oh, y'all know y'all be lying, boy. <laughs> Okay, first off, I appreciate your honesty. But I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, every time you have unprotected sex, you are putting your life at risk. And not just your life, but your partner's life as well. But uh, when I did it, it was with my girl, and I know she ain't burning. <laughs> but you can't always be sure. Have you two been tested? Nah, but I ain't got no lumps or nothing like that. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. You might have it and not show symptoms for years. That's right. That's why you must get tested regularly. Now, whatever, man. I still say you could tell. When I was 17, I had a boyfriend. And he was a star basketball player at our school, and he was fine, and I loved him. I trusted him, so we never used protection. And then one day, I went to the doctor just for a routine checkup and found out that I'd been infected with HIV. And he'd been sleeping with my best friend behind my back, so... I guess we share something else now, too. Yes? Even if you do get it, it's not a big deal anymore, right? They got drugs and stuff. I mean, look at you. I don't want to scare anybody from getting tested, because you can live with the results. You know, I have a job. I have my friends, well, most of them. And the drugs are getting better. But living with this disease is really hard, physically and emotionally. Every day I wake up with the fear that the drugs are gonna stop working. And unfortunately, one day they will. It could be 10 years from now. It could be four months from now. So when I say get tested and use protection, I'm not trying to mimic some public service announcement. I'm trying to give you guys the information I wish somebody had given me.
Yes, I love mom. What's going on, Juanita? You gonna let us push that navigator to AAA? Sorry, I got class. I just stopped by to holler at you for a minute. So you thought about what we talked about? Yeah. So you ready for me? Yeah, I think so. So I guess I'll be about a little later on then. I'll see you a little later. Right. You wanna take this? Buy yourself something nice, all right? Okay. All right. I'll see you later. Look like I ain't got $4 now. Shut up. <laughs> Girl, what you from here?